Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, great. All right, Annie, so how are you? I'm good. All right. That's nice to hear that you're doing good. And can you still remember our class last time, our topic? Remember what topic? Actually, we have class yesterday, right? We just have our class yesterday. It's about actually speaking class and you find pictures. You describe the man who's going down to the river, can you remember that? Yeah. Then the scarf, okay, so that's a speaking class. And I told you before that we're going to have assessment and apparently um, we're, I'm still not given the material for the exam. So we might have our test this coming Wednesday then, okay? Wednesday is our next meeting, right? Yeah. So for that case, um, I'm going to move forward to another lesson and this will be unit 45, okay? So let's start. You see my screen? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so welcome again to our class. And this is about, can you read the title? Talking about the time. Okay, we're going to talk about the time. So when we talk about the time, it's either the hour, the minutes, the seconds, the months, the days, and the year. Okay? Okay. Annie, if I'm going to ask you, what day what date is today? What is the date today? Uh, is twenty two again? Twenty two. Uh, but what's the month? Okay, if you say the, the, the date, you have to say the month, the day, and the year. Uh, 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 February. Okay, February. And what is the year now? It's... Twenty twenty one. Okay, 2021. Very good. And what day is day? What day today? What is the day today? It's Monday. It's Monday. Very good. And can you tell me what time is it? It's half past six. Half past six. Very good. All right. Actually, that is half past six in Vietnam, but in the Philippines, it's actually half past seven. Okay. We have one hour. We are one hour advanced. Okay. So if you are six and a half, so in the Philippines, it's seven and a half. Right, that's good to know that you know how to say the date, the time, all right? Quick question, Annie. How many months are there in a year? There are 12 months in a year. Okay, definitely. There are 12 months in a year. And can you tell me, in order, the months in the year, what are those months? Can you start for the very first month? I do understand. Can you tell me the months in the year? Can you start? What is the first month? What is the name of the first month, the second month, the third month? January, February, 
March, April, May, June, July, uh, August, September, October, uh, the eleven month is starts with letter N. November and yeah. December. Very good. So those are the months in the year. Very good. All right. We're going to learn about ordinal number words. When we talk about ordinal numbers, we talk about the order of the numbers. So can you read it? First until the 20th. First. 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 Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Sixth. Seventh. Can you say that again? Sixth. Sixth. Eight, okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty, yes. Again, twenty, yes. Twenty, yes. Okay, what about if we're going to talk about, sorry, um, what about this one, 21? What is the ordinal number for 21? What? What is the ordinal number for 21? After the twentieth, what is the next number? Twenty-first. Okay, you called it twenty-first, right? So you called it twenty-first, right? And twenty-two. How do you say it in the ordinal number? Twenty-second. Okay, that's right. Twenty-second. What about this one? Thirteenth. Again. Thirteenth. Thirtieth. Sir. C S. Can you see it? Thirtieth. Okay. And twenty. How do you say again? Twenty. You say it. Twentieth. Okay. Twentieth. What about this one? Ten. Okay. Ten. All right. So kindly remember. All right. So what do you call these numbers? You called it. You call these numbers ordinal. Okay. Can you say it? Ordinal. Ordinal. All right. Very good. So let's move. Okay. I have it. I have sentences here and try to. Okay. Let's try to do number one. So look at the boxes, read and read the sentences and write or color. Okay, number one, write the names of the six missing months on the line. Write on the write the names of the six missing months on the line. Can you put their names? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, uh, let me share my screen if you want. Okay. All right. Uh, but take note that the words should start in a capital letter. Should start with a capital letter. I do understand. Oh, the words should start, especially if one should start with capital letter. 
You don't use small. Should be in capital letter. Okay? January. Yeah. February. February. I don't know how to write April. April. Okay. April. A P R I L. April. A P R I L April. Okay, good. All right, so you were able to spell them out, but just correction February is February, okay? February, okay? Can you can you correct February? Can you write again February? Okay, very good. Now, can you read number two? How long? How long is each month? Write the number of days in the small boxes. Okay, did you understand the instruction? Okay, it's the instruction says that you're going to write how many days are there in January, in February, in March. For example, ah, January, yeah. how many days in January? You have how many days in January? We have 31. Okay, good. So write 31 in the box. Very good. Next. We are now in the month of February and there are how many days? Okay, 28 or 29, very good. And in March, yes, there are, there are 31 days in March, very good. April, yes, there is 30. May, there are 31 days. June, there are 30. July, there are 31. August, are you sure? Only 30 days? Oh, no. Oops. Okay, 
July, there are 31. August, how many days? There are 31, as you say. What about September? How many days? Right, you're finished? Very good. So I will teach you a technique, Annie, how to know whether the months have 31 or not. Okay, can you put your hand like this? Can you put I your know. hand? Right, huh? Just say January, February, March, April, May, June, July, then August. If it's in the bone, there is 31, right? So you know that technique, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so try to remember, okay? So July, August, they have 31. In September, there is only 30 days. Then October, 31 again. November, there are 30. And December, there is 31. There, in December, there are 31 days as well. Okay, very good. Good job. Number three, can you read it? Right, today, in the current month, what? Okay, right, today's date in the correct month box. Did you understand that? You're going to write the date today to that day, to the month that it's now. What's the month now? What is the month? February. So you're going to write the date in the box of February. So you're just going to write the day. What's the day today? It's Second. Okay, 22. So write February 22 there. Okay, very good. Next, number four. Can you read number four? Write your birthday in the correct month box. Okay, so when is your birthday? Um, 27 of October. So in October? In the box of October, you write there 27. Okay, now number five. How the summer month bright yellow and the spring month bright, bright green. green. Are there four weathers in Vietnam? Are there four weathers in Vietnam? Yeah. Do you have snow sometimes in Vietnam? Yeah. Okay. So, color the summer months, bright yellow. What, is, what are your summer but days? I don't know. You don't know. I see. Uh, usually, when is the summer time? I mean, the time that you don't have school. What are the months you don't have school? Um, my... What May, else? June, July. May, June, July. Oh, you're... Oh, you, June, you start, July, August. 
Okay, June, July, August. So that's the summer days. Okay, mm -hmm. color, June, July, August. Yellow, right? Yellow. Oh. Oh, that's purple. <laughs> Okay. All right, so June, July, August. So that is the summer, okay? Summer season. What about the spring months? You know spring? Do you have spring holiday? Spring holiday? No. Are you sure? Um, but you know that the spring is before summer. Spring is before summer. And, okay. I throw my okay, that's great. Okay, so before summer, you have spring time, okay? So you're going to color it green. Very good. Very good, Annie. Next, number six. Can you read number six? Choose color for the autumn and winter months. Other way of another saying, way. Another way of saying. In the, in the autumn, in, in the autumn, in the autumn is in the. What's the other term for autumn? You also called it. Um. Call it. Let me remember. Letter um, F. It. Look at my hands. Oh, it fall. I don't remember. Fall. I already said it. Oops. My bottle falls. Water falls. Fall. You call it fall. Fall. F-A-L-L. -L. In the fall. A L L. F A L L. Okay, very good. Right, so that is fall. Okay, what is the other way of saying autumn? You called it fall. Okay, and you know what are the months for fall? What? What are the months? What are the autumn months? September, October, November. Okay, good. September, October, and November. Okay. What is the usual color of fall? Can you remember? When the leaves are falling down? The time then the leaves are gone in the are fading. Do you know what color? Red. Okay, you can call it red or orange. or orange. Very good. So you can choose color, red or orange for that. So color oh. September, October, and November. Oh, you choose red. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And lastly, winter months. What are the months for winter? Um, white. White. Yeah, why is oh, it white? Or you call it 
Sorry, or? Dark, dark blue. Sorry? Dark. Dark, yeah, why dark? Or you can just simply make it blue, right? Make it blue because it's cold, right? You can make it blue for winter. Can you color it blue? And what yeah. are the what are the winter months? December, January, February. Okay, good. December, January, and February. So, meaning to say, February is still winter. Is that is that correct? February is still winter. Is it still yeah. cold? Is it still cold now? Yeah. Yes, actually, yes. Right. Very In Vietnam, good. it's cold. In Vietnam, is it cold still? Okay, good. Now, number seven, draw a star in your... I can't, I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Connection, maybe connection, maybe bad. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hello, Annie? Hello? Okay, can you hear me now, Annie? Yeah. Yeah, because I think that is your internet connection. I checked my connection. Uh, my internet is quite fast now. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, very good. All right, can you read now number seven? Draw a star. Draw a star in your favorite month on the calendar. Okay, what is your favorite month on the calendar? Um... What are you going to choose? Red. Oh. Oh, June. You like June very much? Many stars? <laughs> okay. Why June? Why June is your favorite month? Um, because, because I like summer. You like summer, yeah. Most people. And also no, no school, right? It will be your yeah. free time all day, right? So you're going to play a lot. You're going to enjoy your day, right? So there is no school during June. Actually, in the Philippines, before, when I was young, our summer starts in April, actually. 
in my school before. It starts in April. So meaning to say we're going to have school immediately in June. <laughs> so our day, our, our school will start in June. But now at the Philippines, it's changing. It starts now in August. All right. So good job. So you did great. And how old are you? What is my favorite month? How old ah, me, are I'm, you? Uh, I am 24. I'm 24 years old. Do four, okay. Thank you, Paul. Yes, I am only 24. Yes. Yeah. All right, so good job, Annie, for answering this correctly. So I'm going to draw clear your drawings now. Very good job. Okay. Okay, this one. Okay. Okay, good. Now let's try to read this part. Okay, can you read this one? Prepositions of time. Can you read it? Annie, can you hear me? What? Can you hear me? Can you read this? Prepositions of time. Yeah. Okay. Annie, can you read this word at? Uh, okay, can you read the uh, examples, times of the day? Can you read the examples? At four o'clock. At half past ten. Okay. okay, or you also call it 10.30. Can you say it? 10.30. What? Can you say 10 30? 10 30. Okay, very good. Next. At noon. Okay. At dinner time. Uh, no. At midday. Okay, at midnight. At midnight. Very good. Now, can you read the next part? Meal times. <sighs> Annie, can you read meal times? At lunch and at dinner time. Okay, good. What about noon time? What are you going to use? Noon time. At or on? What? I can't hear you. Oh, your internet is bad. Noon time. What are you going to use? At, in, or on? At. At noon time. Very good. Next, can you read the next word? Holidays. At Christmas. At, at you just say Easter. I don't know. At Easter. You read it Easter. At Easter. Okay, good. At the weekend. Very good. Next. Expressions. At present. At the moment. At night. Okay, very good. At night. 
All right, next, can you read in? Preposition in. Preposition in, can you read it? Once, okay, good, yes. In April. Very good. Seasons? In the summer, in the spring. Okay, good. Years? In 1990. Okay, better way to say it, it's in 1990. Can you say it? In 1990. Okay, so that's the way you read the years, okay? Next, decades. In the eighties. Okay, in the eighties. Can you say it? In the eighties. In the eighties. Okay, good. Next, centuries. In the twenty twenty years. Twenty yes. And Again, twenty yes. Centuries. Twenty yes. Century. Okay, good. Long. Next, long periods. In the ice age, in the present, in the past. Very good. Next, parts of the day. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay, very good. So that's how you use the proposition time in. Okay, kindly remember. Next, on. Can you read on? On. Days, on. On Tuesday, on Saturday, on my birthday, on Christian, Christmas Day, on Halloween. Very good. Next, dates. On. June. Okay, good. On 20th May, on our anniversary. Very good. Next, parts of a specific day. Parts of specific day. So you say it on? On Monday morning. Very on good. Friday evening. On Saturday night. On right. Sunday afternoon. All right. So that's how you read the parts of the specific date. All right. Next. Can you read the last part here? Last or next? How to use last or next? So can you read the check mark? Call, the, call me next weekend. Okay. And next. I I met her that Friday. Okay, very good. So that's good, right? All right, so what time is it? Still have seven minutes. We continue. Okay. So we're going to listen to this particular Ajo, and you're going to look for the answers, okay? So we're going to listen. 45B, talking about the time. Listen and Oh, sorry. Look, look, there is one example. Which place did Richard and his class visit this year? Hello, Richard. Did you have a good holiday with the school? Yes, thanks, Aunt Helen. But we didn't go to the mountains this year. Oh, did you go to the beach then? No, we stayed on an island this year. It was excellent. Okay, so Richard stayed on the island, okay? 
Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. When did Richard's school holiday begin? When did your holiday start, Richard? In the first week of June. Our teacher wanted to go at the end of April, but we couldn't because she was ill. Oh dear. Your uncle and I always go on holiday in September. Do you? Yes. Two. What did Richard do on holiday? We spent one day in a village where people always live in tents. Wow. Did they cook on fires there? Yes. We did that too that day. It was fun. And was the water warm enough to swim in? No. And I wanted to climb the trees and get a coconut. But our teacher said it's too dangerous. Three. What did Richard bring home? I brought a present home for you. That's kind of you. Let me guess. Is it some sweets? I know you like those, but no, it's some soap. They make it from one of the plants on the island. I got some for Mum, too. Great. Four. When can Richard's aunt watch the holiday film? Our teacher made a film of the holiday. What a good idea. We're going to watch it at 10 o'clock tomorrow and other people in the family can watch it after school at a quarter past four. I think it's about 30 minutes. Sorry, Andy, what did you say? Hello, Annie. Did you say something? No. Okay. I said this to my mom. Ah, okay, sorry. I thought Jerry was talking to me. Oh. Will you come, Aunt Helen? Yes. I'll come on my bike. Five. What will Richard wear? We aren't going to wear school uniforms when our teacher shows the film. Why not? Because it was too hot to wear jeans on the island, so we all bought some funny shorts. We're going to wear those. Will your teacher let you do that? Oh, yes. She's going to wear some too. OK, what's your answer for number five? OK, let us see. All right, um, number one, when did Richard's school holiday begin? Your answer is letter A, April 29th. Is that correct? Is, are you sure with your answer, letter A, April 29th? Yeah. OK. So the answer for number one is actually letter B. Why? Richard said that he their school started um, first week of June. It was said first week of June. We on an island this year. It was excellent. Now you. When did Richard's school holiday begin? When did your holiday start, Richard? In the first week of June. Okay, did you hear that? On the first week of June. So it, it, he doesn't have he doesn't have to say the date exactly, but of course there is only one June in the choices, then presumably it's June 4. Right. When they talk about April, because their teacher got sick, so the holiday was moved. Okay, since the teacher is sick. It was moved, but supposed to be in April. All right. Next, what Richard did. Okay, what Richard did on the holiday. Actually, Richard made a tent. Okay, they say a tent. 
Number three, you're correct. Uh, his gift is soap to her aunt. And for the time, it's actually letter B, quarter past three. Okay, for everyone in the school, the film will show 10 o'clock. That's correct. People will, the film will show to the people in the school 10 o'clock. But people outside the school, just like her auntie, can watch the film half, okay, sorry, quarter past three. Okay, Annie? Yeah. And lastly, number six, uh, number five, the answer is shorts. So you're correct there. Okay, number five. All right, so good job, Annie. So anyway, I know it's quite hard. You got two over five, but it's okay. It's quite confusing. All right, so do you have questions so far? No. Okay, so we're going to end for Annie. So see you next, uh, our next meeting. All right, so good night already and have a great day. Bye-bye.